During my 21 year career, I had five deployments. And one of those deployments was to Kirkuk, Iraq. And at that particular time, we had a lot of mortar attacks. And the mortar attacks would happen daily. I would say out of a week, probably five days out of seven. And so here I am, you know, one afternoon with my son um, and we're outside and a car alarm was triggered by the thunderstorm. And I found myself taking cover. And it really scared me because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't, I felt as if I was back in Iraq. And I felt as if time kind of stood still. And here I am reliving the mortar attacks. It could be balloons popping. It could be anything from a loud sound that startled me. But what I found was I was all of a sudden on edge. I didn't trust people. I was constantly looking over my back. Um, I went through moments of isolation and then finally moments as the years went on, depression. Um, and it wasn't until 2017, 2018 to where I finally decided, okay, I can't do this on my own. I probably need to see someone and that's when I was diagnosed with PTSD. The Manuel Project is the brainchild of Ambassador Earl Mack. He was concerned about the high rate of suicide among our veterans, which is, as we all know, you know, 20 a day, which is astonishing. And he was a veteran himself and was looking for ways to find alternative therapies, knowing that the stigma that comes with therapy when veterans come home, whether it's group therapy or one-on-one -on -one therapy, there just weren't enough options. So I absolutely didn't talk about it. You know, it was, okay, let me put my head down and barrel through um, and deal with it the best way that I could. And I did that for years, oh my gosh, so many years. And then finally I got to a breaking point to where my body was like, enough's enough. Well, I think horses are unique in that they're very much like the veterans themselves. They are hypervigilant, they're creatures of prey. They have a mission in life. And as we all know, veterans, when they're deployed, in active service, they have a mission, they have a purpose, they have a goal, they, and, and daily that is the way that they live their lives. And they come home and all of a sudden that mission is gone, but the mission mentality is still there. One that we said was a true veteran, and for us in the military, that term of being a veteran is synonymous with, okay, they're set in their ways, they, they know what they want, know what they don't want, and that was Jack. So. I immediately said, okay, he's the one that I want to work with the most because I felt he would be a challenge and we kind of needed each other. And in the end, I believe that's exactly what it was. Um, he needed something from me and I needed something from him. And what I needed from him was the ability to let go and surrender so I can start to build. And that's what the Man of War Project did for me. My life is so much better now because of the Man of War Project. I mean, I'm able to walk through life and not worry about who's behind me. Walk through life and, you know, just live fully. And that's something that I'm forever grateful for.